welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as always, it is the HBO special. And what does that mean? Just help a brother out. You know, try to get to 1,000 subscribers. Have this be a, you know, another source of income to provide for my son. Uh, this will be part two of three. So I'll be, I'll be releasing these, you know, back to back to back. So Wednesday through Friday, because I was going to do it, you know, my usual, you know, Wednesday, Friday. But I was like, you know, just go ahead and release all three this week. That way no one can say anything. Um, but yes, this will be part two on holding the black community accountable, accountable. And this is speaking on black women holding other black women accountable. Now, this is only from the perspective of me. I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm a black man, but I kind of, I try to see the full picture. And it's like, black women face the same war that black men face, but there's more of it. Let me, let me break this down. So, because black women are far more advanced, far more smarter, opening up more businesses, um, they have they have a okay. Like for instance, there's more smarter black women than there are black men, as far as like degrees, business adventures, things of that nature. Um, so let, let's let's just, let's just say there was a hundred black men who were who were doing that. There's a thousand black women that are doing that. So a hundred to a thousand. But in the grand scheme of things, the you know how you know how people how black men have the pookies and the ray rays and the dusties and all that other stuff. Where on this side you have the, you know, what's the word they're using? That well the, all over all over here is tots now, but let's just say tots or whatever. And but they still outnumber over here. Even though, you know, this over here is a little bit more than what we have, this is still outnumbering it. So how can black women hold other black women accountable? There have been several cases just in this past year where black women have tried to hold, hold um, sorry, I can't even speak, hold other black women accountable. Let's go to the whole Monique situation with the bonnet. Um, she wasn't saying anything disrespectful in my eyes. So you're just letting black women know, hey, we have to represent and things of that nature. And then people turned on Monique. <laughs> um, there's an incident that happened this past weekend, which we, which instantly reminded me of the incident that happened last year, I believe it was in November, where there were women twerking on the table. And that was a big thing that happened this weekend. Like they was just like up and twerking and all that stuff and standing on tables and you know, there was a lot of black women that say, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. And then there was an other camp that says that you're making us look bad and you're playing into stereotypes. Um, I can only say from some of the comments I've seen in a lot of these videos, man, there were some racist comments, man. Like people were saying like the monkeys are gonna give us a free show and all that stuff. But you know, when, when black women try to hold other black women accountable, it always seems to be like some friction points. It's like, if you're not agreeing with me, then you're disagreeing. Whoa, I mean, that's obvious. But if you're not agreeing with me, it's like you're, you're an enemy. And even though you may not be facing those same trials and tribulations, you can't offer any, any sympathy or any help unless you do it in complete silence. But only speak up when we want you to. It's like, um, I'll give another example. Um, I watched this YouTuber. Her name is Yanni. I believe her conversation, like, uh, I believe her YouTube channel is called Real Topics with Yanni. Yanni is a beautiful woman. But she, she photographed and video her journey of how she got here, how she was, quote, unquote, the ugly duckling, or whatever you want to call it, and how she transformed herself and her body into what she looks like now. Um, there's the other YouTuber called O Stepco, uh, when she made the infamous video of how she would never have pretty privilege, being just she was like a dark skinned woman, more more figured, um, things of that nature. 
And then in the original response, Yanni was just trying to compare her situation that old Steph Co was talking about of not having pretty privilege to how she was when she was the quote unquote ugly duckling and how she was able to better herself. And then like her own audience came and attacked her. That was like some of the craziest shit I ever seen. Um, but we have this instance for, for women where it's like, it's okay for, you, for them to have these jobs and have these careers, but at the same time, they wish to act ratchet. Um, but they don't seem to like, you know, there's a time and place for everything. So like doing it on the tables at a restaurant it's not like a strip club or anything like that. That's just is like a, you know, like a brunch place. You know, you don't do stuff like that. So when other women would try to hold these women accountable, they were getting attacked by their own tribe. Um, and I noticed that, like, it, it, it's, it's, it's like a whole bunch of mean girls. Um, so for black women, they usually have to have a black women code. Um, now, a lot of women say black men have a code. Um, I don't truly believe that. I just believe that a whole lot of black men don't want to accept accountability, which could be a code by itself, if we're being honest. So whenever it comes to holding another black man accountable, other black men will speak up because they don't want to be held accountable themselves. So technically, yes, that will be considered a code. But as far as like... Um, like for, it's like so weird because like, you know, when I watch these women and I like, you know, when they saying something that's, it says that, well, if they're saying something that the crowd or the mob wants to hear, they're all for it. But as soon as they say something that's gonna improve themselves and improve the black women as a whole, it's usually met with a lot of resistance from what I have seen. And it's so fucking crazy because these women are very smart and like they have these businesses and all that stuff and but as soon as you say hey let's take accountability for this they start like you know going to war with that person like i seen it happen a few times not just on her page i i mentioned her page because hers was, was like the most recent but i've seen this happen a lot like i've seen quote unquote girl code go out the window as soon as someone said that something that they didn't like. From from my viewpoint, black women have to understand that, you know, there's more than one way to get something done. And people have differences of opinions, but you don't attack your fellow sister. Especially if that's not warranted. All she's doing is giving an opinion on how to improve the community. You know, all this, like, you know, you said something that I didn't like, so we're just gonna attack you and shame you and all that stuff. That doesn't really work. And it, and it makes, not only, not only does it make you look bad, but it makes the community look bad. And as a form of accountability, we have to look for those women who are willing to say something, who are willing to step up and say, this is unacceptable behavior. And y'all should be able to, at least if you do disagree, disagree with uh, um, you know by talking to them and explaining your reasoning versus just straight out attacking that's what I believe that's totally not necessary um, so I wanted to tread lightly on the subject being that I am a black man um, speaking on the behaviors and the things that I've seen of black women but just from what I have seen and what I have noticed and trust me I have seen a lot <laughs> it's being able to accept constructive criticism without going to the extreme. That's how I feel that other black women can hold other black women accountable. Uh, other than that, take care. I love you. Peace.